What's up you guys, it's Kev here, welcome back to Top Trends. Before we begin today's video, hit the like button if you wish you could travel in time. If you haven't yet, do subscribe to the channel for future video releases. And for this video, comment below. If you can travel in time to change or fix anything, what would you do? Time travel is by far the most controversial subject in the science field today. Is it possible? Has it ever been done? From movies like Back to the Future and the books from H.G. Wells, time travel sure does seem like it sparks the interest in many today. So here are 10 amazing theories proving time travel actually exists. Number 10. Narnia in the Kitchen Sink On August 30th, 2006, in Sweden, Håkan Nufkis came home to find water pooling on his kitchen floor. Assuming it was a leak, he gathered some tools and, opening the kitchen sink, reached his arm in to feel for piping. But he reached further than he actually expected. I had to crawl inside the cabinet, and as I did, I discovered that it just continued on and on. So I kept crawling further and further into the cabinet. In the end of the tunnel, I saw a light. When I got there, I realized I was in the future. Nufkis claimed that he traveled into the future to the year 2042. There, he met his 72-year-old self and they compared tattoos and shared personal information that only the true Hulkin Nufkis would know. He also allegedly captured this footage of himself, or himself, with his cell phone. But, coming this Friday, Narnia 2.0, the guy, the sink, and the lie, rated L for life. It was later revealed to be a commercial in Sweden, except not seen anywhere or else really the other side of the world who never saw it blew this up into a fact. Sad face, I know. Cool story though. Number 9. John Titer. John Titer is a person who appeared online in many forums and message boards for about a year starting in the year 2000. He claimed he was from the year 2036 and described events that happened and that the United States was split into five different sectors due to a nuclear war. Titer's prediction of an IBM 500 did come true for many of its uses. However, skeptics still believe he is trying to fake it. Simon me more like an interpretation of Back to the Future film. Then again, time travel is all the same, right? You either go into the past or into the future, so films and books really have no choice but to be similar. Number 8. The Philadelphia Experiment The Philadelphia Experiment is an alleged military experiment supposed to have been carried out by the U.S. Navy at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, sometime around October 28, 1943. The U.S. Navy destroyer escort USS Eldridge was claimed to have been rendered invisible or cloaked to enemy devices. The story is widely understood to be a hoax, though. The U.S. Navy maintains that no such experiment ever was conducted and that details of the story contradict well-established facts about the the USS Eldridge, and that the alleged claims do not conform to known physical laws. But there are some people who claim that this was an experiment on Albert Einstein's theory of unified field theory. Such theories would aim to describe mathematically and physically the interrelated nature of the forces that comprise electromagnetic radiation and gravity, and otherwise uniting the fields of electromagnetism and gravity into a single field. Because you know, science. Number 7. Flying through a rift in time. Sir Robert Victor Goddard had an impeccable record. One day that year, he was flying to Edinburgh from Andover, England. And while on this perfectly ordinary flight, he passed over a dilapidated airfield in Drem, Scotland. This place had been long abandoned. So he continued on his way until he reached his destination in Edinburgh. A few days later, Goddard began his trip back to Andover. He took the same route, which would lead him once again over Drem. But before he could get there, he ran into a peculiar storm. I call it peculiar because along with high winds and torrential rain, the storm clouds were yellow, he said. It didn't take long for Goddard to become disoriented and lose control of his plane. He tried to regain control by climbing above the yellow clouds, but they seemed to have no end. His plane began to fall. Fortunately for him, that's when something unexpected happened. The clouds broke, and he could see the ground again. Off in the distance was the Drem airfield. The airfield at Drem was no longer abandoned. In fact, it looked good as new. He could see mechanics down below, and four planes, each painted yellow. They sat on the runway, and the mechanics are wearing blue. Royal Air Force mechanics in 1935 wore brown overalls, not blue, and there were no yellow planes, to his knowledge. He didn't think much too quickly. He flew by the airfield and then the storm suddenly appeared again. Those yellow clouds. Does that mean the snow was yellow too? Yellow snow aside, he came out of the storm again and landed at his base. He told the story, but he was met with skepticism, as one would expect with a story like this. However, in 1939, four years later, the Royal Air Force began painting their planes yellow with the mechanics wearing blue. And the Drem airfield made a comeback. Did he see the future? Traveling through a rift of time? Who knows? Number 6. Keanu Reeves. Known as Neo in the Matrix, 
Olympics, or if you were born earlier as Ted in the Bill and Ted movies. Oh heck, why not? Police officer in the movie Speed, huh? Reeves is known for his unaging appearance. Fans have noticed people who lived in the past resemble the actor. Charles the Great looks similar to Reeves. Another one, Paul Mounet, appeared in the mid-1800s, and a doctor, 1922, who apparently died, but a body was never found. Hmm, makes you think, huh? Number 5. Ancient Greek Laptop At the J. Paul Getty Museum in Malibu, there is a sculpture there that is actually believed to be made around 100 BC in ancient Greece. It appears a woman is being presented with what is a familiar thing today, a laptop computer. It even has ports on the side, so you think. But the problem here is that the technology for this should never have existed back in that time. There are many who actually think this is a wax writing tablet. Number 4. Tiny Gold Watch This one deserves an award for its originality. A Swiss watch discovered in an ancient Chinese tomb. It's still touted as proof that time travel is real, or is it? Sadly, the watch found in an undisturbed 400-year-old tomb from Sea King era is a digitally edited fake. Other fakes exist, and more of them are created each day due to Photoshop. Look at this photo someone strung together overnight with two images. It depicts a photo taken from the 9-11 terror attacks on the top of the World Trade Center. I mean, right off the bat, the light angle from the plane to the face of the guy is just wrong. Or what about the guy who photoshopped his cat in the year 2000 to make it look bigger, which was made famous throughout the world? Number 3. Nicolas Cage Proof backing up the theory that Nicolas Cage might actually be either a time traveler or possibly an immortal vampire. First, there was a picture of his Civil War era doppelganger that popped up on eBay in 2011. And now this clear drawing of Nick Cage in the history books. They claim to have found it in a Mexican history book that had a section on the 19th century Mexican Emperor Maximilian I. Sure enough, a quick Google search of Max confirms he looks a hell of a lot like Nicolas Cage. Number 2. The Large Hadron Collider This project is a project that has a bunch of controversy surrounding it. Apparently, it's called an atom smasher. People thought that once it was turned on, it would create a black hole and suck the earth right down in oblivion. But rather that, they turned it on a bunch of times, and they finally found the elusive and friendly Higgs boson particle. Hardly black hole doom, huh? Two scientists, Tom Wheeler and Chewy Man Ho, have a theory that the Higgs boson could create another particle called the Higgs singlet, which can jump into another dimension and travel back and forth through time. However, still, science rules. Number 1. Mobile Phone in 1928 On the DVD DVD special feature of Charlie Chaplin's film, there seems to be a scene that gets people to wonder, what is this woman holding? In one of the scenes, she looks like she's holding a mobile phone up to her ear. This was filmed in 1928, so speculation is that she is a time traveler who accidentally went across the scene. However, some say it's just an early version of today's hearing aid. Thanks for watching the video. Check out all the other videos we have for you here at Top Trends. Hit the like if you made it this far. Subscribe for future love. Till next time, ta-ta.